this is Mr. Mark and this is my eBay profit calculator and if you already have the calculator I made a few additions to it mainly this break-even price column and the way this works is you start with again with the supplier the supplier information which is where you're getting your product from the price you're paying for the from the supplier the tax and the shipping and any other additional costs you might have incurred from that the total supplier cost is calculated in this case ten dollars eight one and one uh, the break-even price is calculated based on the PayPal and eBay fees which have percentages assigned to them so based on those fees it gives you a break-even meaning a minimum price at which you will make zero profit if you enter that as your resale price 1183 is the break-even you will see at the end the total profit is zero okay your total profit is zero however the uh, we also have to consider shipping so if you pay shipping um, for example if I know that I'm going to pay the shipping five dollars right my break even goes up All right now my break even is seventeen dollars and fifty seven cents because I have to pay for shipping right that increases my cost okay so the way this works is you come up with the resale price for instance let's say fifteen dollars alright um, and you then determine is the shipping being paid by the buyer or is it being paid by the seller this will determine the total that is being paid by the buyer as you might know the eBay and PayPal fees are based on the buyers payment It's based on what the buyer pays you so if the buyer is paying shipping of five dollars for instance that is now a total of twenty dollars being paid by the buyer fifteen and five twenty and so the, the fees reflect that uh, PayPal fees are 2.9% plus 30 cents. So they're 2.9% of the buyer's payment plus 30 cents. Okay, um, the eBay fee is usually 10%, right? Most items are 10% of the buyer's payment. However, there are certain categories where it's a bit different. So if you're selling one of these other categories, do check to see if you have a different final value fee uh, percentage, right? Uh, for example here books DVDs 12 percent 2 percent so I have this sheet you can check the sheet tab where you can check that but most items are 10 percent so the final value fee is then 10 percent of this payment of twenty dollars 10 percent of 20 which is two dollars you then have the listing fee another fee um, if the list if there is no listing fee I'm assume, assuming most people might not have a listing fee so they might just place zero dollars here all right um, your first 50 listings are free however you might be a big seller you might be over that limit so you may have some items where you're expecting to pay a listing fee of 35 cents if you enter that 35 cents right you see that that will affect the total fees right so again I'm gonna change this back to zero so it's 288 right that's your total fees okay that's your PayPal fees combined with your final value fee is 288 right but again if you have a listing fee right the total fees will go up okay so from there the calculator then says takes the uh, buyers payment and subtracts uh, the total fees right so the buyer paid twenty dollars we subtract two dollars and eighty eight cents in fees and this is what we end up with the after fees which is seventeen dollars and twelve cents right from there we can then calculate the profit so this is what I'm left right left with right the buyer pays 20 PayPal immediately takes out their fees of 88 cents um, eBay will later take out two dollars from you charge you two dollars so you might as well subtract that now right that's your total of 288 in fees that leaves you with this so this is what you're gonna get paid but then you have to go back and consider what you originally paid for the item which was ten dollars seventeen dollars twelve cents minus the ten dollars leaves you with seven dollars and twelve cents profit seven dollars and twelve cents profit um, and you'll see just as an example let's say you paid for the shipping instead then this would have been five dollars shipping paid by the seller uh, you see that you have a higher break even you see that the buyer now uh, only paid fifteen dollars right because they didn't pay any shipping so now they don't their their payment was fifteen dollars your PayPal fees are going to be less. Your final value fees is going to be less. Here's your total fees, right? But because of this five dollars shipping, 
your profit is less because the profit takes uh, the profit takes this payment subtracts how much you paid for the item and it also subtracts the shipping that you paid uh, to ship the, what you paid to ship the item all right that's counted in part of your profit so you see your profit goes down negative so now you know that if you're gonna pay five dollars for shipping that this is not gonna cut it right and that's why the break even tells you here that it the break even is 1757 so the break even also considers the shipping cost that you might have right so if you put 1757 for the resale price you see that you get a profit of zero on the side right that's the break even price so for this product you might want to charge like twenty dollars right you may want to charge about twenty dollars okay um, because you're paying five dollars for shipping right so now you see that you get two dollars and twelve cents profit and this is what makes the difference between I would imagine someone being successful um, and making more or less money which is being you know uh, aware of profit and how um, pricing is going to affect your profit right and having a spreadsheet that does those calculations immediately see that's the difference it does the count you can do these calculations by hand but having a spreadsheet to do them immediately um, saves you a lot of time and uh, as you can see if you scroll over right most of the time you may not really need to look at the fees because if you're selling standard items for a 10 percent eBay fee all right and if you've got no listing fee you may not even need to look at these fees so you can actually scroll over all right this stays locked in place the resale section the profit will move over and that way you can make changes on this side right let's say I change this to 25 let's say I raise the price and you will immediately see your change in profit on this side right or even if your cost changes right even if your tax goes up okay which increases the uh, cost from your supplier right your break even will go up all right your profit may go down a little so anything that you change in the spreadsheet now you can only change this section because these are all calculated by formulas so this spreadsheet is actually protected all right so that you do not accidentally remove any formulas um, it is completely protected and um, you can it's set for up to 50 items and then if you for some reason wanted to add more items um, you could always copy and paste right um, the sheet and add more items that way so um, if you found this useful and you would like to uh, get a download of this spreadsheet you can actually do that through a link in the description of this video um, that will take you to a page on my site where you can actually download it um, and also feel free to subscribe to my channel because I am uh, always adding videos occasionally um, related to either resources I've come up with or um, any other knowledge mainly related to computer applications and um, also e-commerce so if, inter if you're interested do subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.